Hey, it's Tig Man time for this week's edition of The Metal Box, our weekly discussion on all things hard rock and heavy metal. This week we got an exclusive interview with singer-guitarist Dave Manichetti from the band Y&T. At the time we talked to him, the band was on the road heading to Miami for the Monsters of Rock Cruise 2018, which the band has participated in for all the years that the Monsters of Rock Cruises have been going on. They've been at every one of them. Talked about the history of Y&T and upcoming tour dates, including New York dates at BB King's in New York City on February 21st and Poughkeepsie The Chance on February 23rd. Had a lot to talk about. Check out the full interview right here. We got Dave Manichetti, Y&T main man, on the line with us. Dave, how are you? Doing great, man. And I understand at the time we're taping this interview, you're on your way to the Monsters of Rock Cruise. That's correct, actually. We're just about uh, four or five hours away from hitting Miami. Wait, now, this is an amazing uh, experience for fans. So you've done the Monsters of Rock Cruises before, correct? Every one of them. Every one of them. They keep bringing you back. Yes, they do. <laughs> you must be doing something right, Dave. I guess so. <laughs> You're going to be on the Monsters of Rock Cruise. you got Tesla, Queensryche, Lita Ford, Winger, L.A. Guns, a whole bunch of others on there. This is February 11th through the 16th. Um, where are you headed? You're, you're setting sail from Miami. Where, where do you go? Uh, we're just going out there somewhere. You know, originally it was supposed to go to Jamaica, but uh, they had issues with uh, violence and things like that. And Oof. So they had, to, they had to strike Jamaica from the, ah. from the trip. All right. so, so we're going to hit a couple of uh, sort of private island things. You know? Well, that's cool, though. And, yeah, yeah. And now, how long have you been going, Dave, with Y&T? How, how many years now has this band been going? Um, the, the, the original band started in 1974 and that's how long I've been in it. So you do the math. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I've always been pretty bad in math, but I would say that's definitely yeah, over 40 years. 44 years. 44, 44 years. 44 years. Amazing. And uh, it seems like you guys get better every show you play. I've been seeing you for years and years and it just always an amazing full energy show. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. And I, and I think that's, that's how the, the fans feel about it too. I mean, we hear the comments every night, and we see them on Facebook and Twitter and so on and so forth saying, man, I've seen you guys every year, and you just seem to get better. I don't know how that happens. <laughs> yeah, well, they're always great so, shows, and yeah. you're always a fun time in Poughkeepsie at the Chance. What a great venue, right? Yeah, absolutely, man. Always love playing there. You got a bunch of dates coming up, including the chance you got February twenty first. You're at BB Kings in New York City, and then on the twenty third, you'll be back at the Chance in Poughkeepsie. Dave, who were some of your influences on guitar and singing growing up when you were younger? Uh, when I first started playing guitar, uh, Hendrix was the biggest influence. Uh, he, he, you know, his music really kind of got me fired up to play guitar. Um, but once I started getting into that mode. There were so many different artists that, that came in at that time that, that were inspiring to me. Jeff Beck, um, uh, even Dwayne Allman, Dickie Betts. Nice. Uh, I'd say um, Leslie West, uh, all kinds of different guys. You know, I mean, way more than that, I'm sure, but uh, those are the ones that come to mind at the moment. We're speaking with Dave Manichetti of Y&T. Uh, dates coming up in the New York area. We mentioned the BB Kings on the 21st of February and the Chance in Poughkeepsie on the 23rd. Back in the heyday, Dave, back in the 80s when you were big with all the big hits and stuff, what was one of your favorite tours that you did? What was your favorite band to tour with? Well, there were a lot of great bands to tour with back then. I mean, we had we had some fantastic tours in the States with like Twisted Sister was was a really fun tour. Uh, Motley Crue was was a crazy tour. Just the two of us for two months out there. But I'd say overall, the one that constantly, you know, in, in the back of my mind and in the front of my mind when I think about it, of course, is is uh, ACDC uh, doing the uh, UK and European tours with them. Oh, that that had to be an amazing time. Yeah, it was just the two of us, and we did the For Those About to Rock tour in uh, 1982. Awesome and great guys too, right? Yes, absolutely, man. The last studio album was Face Melter back in 2010. Is there new music on the way? I'm hearing something about an acoustic CD. Is that out yet? Yes, it's out. Uh, we just put it out the first of the year, and uh, we recorded it the first of December. And there's six songs on there, um, some classic Y&T stuff, and some different things that you probably wouldn't expect to hear from a, a, a hard, loud rock band like us doing an acoustic version. Nice. Of, and, and those came out really cool. Are you doing yeah. acoustic stuff at the live shows? We're not. Okay. At the moment, we did not bring all but one acoustic guitar with us, and that's about <laughs> it. But, uh, you know, 
um, that may happen at some other point. Yeah, well, that's all right. We love you plugged in, Dave, you know? Yes, we'll... I, know, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I also was hearing talk of a documentary. Is that still in the works? Yes, that is still in the works. It's been taking a, an extremely long time to, to get that thing sorted out. Uh, the, the documentary filmmakers just had no idea how much work was involved and how many different artists wanted to be in the documentary and so on and so forth. So it's taken a whole lot longer than they expected, but uh, I just want all the fans out there to know that uh, it is going to happen. It is going to come out uh, sometime this year. I have no idea when, but <laughs> <laughs> we, we're, we, just, we just keep prodding them back, back home and saying, come on, guys. You almost yeah, done yet? Right. But uh, it's 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 turning out fantastic. I've seen a lot of the uh, the footage, uh, as has all the guys in the band, and and uh, we've we've had nothing but uh, great feedback from all of us. Well, we look forward to that. Definitely going to be an interesting documentary. Yntrocks.com, dot uh, com, the official website. That's y a n d t rocks dot com, and you can get all the information on that. I'm sure you can get info about this uh, acoustic album too on there exactly and uh we may even soon be coming out with our first uh vinyl uh and we'll be doing that because uh we can put three per side and uh do one at a 12 inch and do it at 45 uh rpm and uh, uh, and and it will actually be like a really really high end quality recording that way and some people are really into vinyl nowadays and it's it's a, it's a cool thing to to check out yeah good to see vinyl coming back you know i mean uh yeah everything comes back around and it seems to be vinyl is a, is a big thing now with people um who's in the current lineup dave who you got with you in the band these days well uh it's uh john nyman who's been with us for decade plus and uh, he's our rhythm guitar player and uh, the drummer is John. Is, is sorry, John Diamond again? Yeah, no. <laughs> no it's Mike Mike Vanderhul is the drummer. He's been with us for eleven or twelve years now, and uh, and the bass player is Aaron Lee, and he's been with us for over two years now. So uh, most of these guys, if you could call them, um, you know. They've been in the band longer than most bands have been together. Yeah, let's put it that way. Right? <laughs> so, so I don't even consider them to be like you know new guys. <laughs> yeah, everybody's you know family here. Whoever you have in the band, you know you've switched some people here and there, and of course we've had some terrible losses over the years. But always, right. uh, always a great band with great musicians. Talking about uh, your your friends and former bandmates that have passed on, Dave. Uh, obviously, drummer Leonard Hayes, your uh, friend Phil Cannamore on bass, Joey Alves on guitar. You being the last remaining surviving member of Y&T, did you ever think about calling it quits at one point? Did you say, ah, I don't know if we should continue on, or did you always say you were going to move forward? Well, when Phil uh, passed away, and he was the first, and that was uh, January of 2011, before that happened, um, and I knew it was inevitable, uh, you know, there were a lot of thoughts in my mind about potential of, you know, calling it quits, of, you know, stopping the band and all that kind of stuff. But it was really sort of a momentary thing because it was very depressing to think about my best buddy passing away. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he, he even said it himself when I was talking to him at his bedside before he passed. He said, Dave, you got to keep this thing going, man. Yeah. All those years and toil and all those great songs we put together – and, and the band sounds fantastic. While I've been laying here in the hospital, there's just no reason for it to stop. And, you know, realistically, I'd already come to that conclusion myself. Uh, it just didn't seem sensible to me yeah. that the band being as good as we are and having so much good material and the fans being so dedicated to this band, there was no reason to stop. So uh, we just keep it going. Well, we're glad you are, Dave. And, and Phil, they were all great guys, but speaking of Phil Kenimore, I remember uh, times after a show just hanging out with you guys, having a beer and, and shooting the breeze, and he was just so much, uh, such a great guy and, and brought so oh, yeah. much laughter and, and fun to the room, you know? Yeah, absolutely, man. A personality a mile wide, man. Just, a, just it's the coolest guy, yeah. 
Dave Manichetti from YNT, the uh, YNT tour coming back to the New York area. You got BB Kings on February 21st, and we will see you on February 23rd at the chance. Of course, a lot of songs we can expect. I'm sure you, you got to play Summertime Girls. Uh, well, well, yeah. You know, that's a, a gift. Of course. And, what, actually, one of your biggest songs, but many hardcore YNT fans would agree, not your best song, uh, <laughs> in our opinion. <laughs> a good hey, song. We've been, we've been hearing that for a couple decades now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a good song, but not our favorite. You know, uh, Mean Streak, yeah. Don't Stop Running, Rescue Me, Forever, Contagious. Some Just a great uh, catalog yeah. of yeah. songs, and I'm sure we're going to exactly. hear all of those. and. My yeah, you're going to hear pretty much almost all of those. And, uh, of course, as usual, we try to play some different songs every year so that uh, it's a different show for each, each, each time we come around. There'll be at least three or four songs that we haven't played in years or at all before. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be a good thing. Well, we're looking forward to it. It's always great when you're in Poughkeepsie at the Chance. And uh, best of luck with the new music and also with the uh, Monsters of Rock Cruise. Have a blast on there with the guys and we'll see you in a couple of weeks, I guess. Sounds good, man. It's gonna it's gonna be trippy to uh, to be in shorts and a t shirt for the next week <laughs> after we've been in nothing but cold weather. So I know it, right? Well, enjoy it. I'm sure it's gonna be a blast. Yeah. Cheers, guy. Dave, we'll Appreciate see you in a couple it. of weeks in Poughkeepsie. Thanks for your time. You bet. Thank you. And that'll do it for this week's edition of the Metal Box. Thanks for tuning in. The Rock and Roll Limo has arrived. We'll see you next week.